Hi everyone, Josh here with Sam. And what we got behind us is Sam's new Mark III VR6 project. Uh, this car is being built, it's got a Mark V R32 rather, well, bits and pieces have done to it, but it's, uh, well, you want to get rid of it, don't you? Yeah. So, to, uh, well, as a replacement, uh, Sam looked on Facebook and found this thing. It is a, well, bought as a shell, it's obviously got no engine and no bits and pieces. Half the car is missing on the inside, there's a load of bits, so we, well, we've never had a Mark III before, so we're not actually sure the, sort of, the whole list of <laughs> what we haven't got, but the plan is, is we've got an A3 3.2 outside, the AP shape, and everything from it, or pretty much as much as we can get from the original car, is going to go in here, that is wire and loom, obviously engine, we're not using the gearbox, we're using the stock Mark III gearbox for the ease of shafts, um, ABS module we're going to try, trying it into this. Um, the wire and loom full throughout the car, we're going to try and run it as the Audi will be run. Uh, dashboard, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see if, when we get to it if it uh, can so take the dash or not. It, it uh, if not, we'll have to try and find a Mark III dash. But, uh, I think there's most of one there, but not a full dash. Yeah, there's, there's, just there's bits, bits, and bits and bobs. Um, so the car itself, this is a Mark III VR6 from the factory, but someone has used it as a track car previously, so uh, if you can see the video, it's uh, been all gutted, all the panels, it's got uh, plexi windows, obviously, at the rear side. Oh, the front is plexi. Yep, both front side. Front is plexi, the boot uh, is plexi, all been skinned and gutted, basically the boot's got no rigid steel whatsoever. And it doesn't steal either, <laughs> too much of the metal work away. Yeah, so it's... Um, so we need a new boot. <coughs> loads, more bits, whether we're going to put a standard bonnet back on, it depends whatever comes up and what we can find. If we find it the right colour, I'll get standard ones because it will be used on the road as well, so <coughs> I want it to be usable. So, to start with, we are going to keep it um, NA, as what everyone says. And we do have some bits and pieces, like we've got a GTX 35 down here. Um, we can't use, obviously, any, from what we understand, an off-the-shelf manifold for it. Uh, exhaust manifold, that is due to obviously where the mounts sit on the back for the uh, on the Mark III platform. So the idea being we're going to use two of obviously the stock down pipes and try and make a little two into one collector and put the turbo to the side just above the box at the bottom of the throttle body. Um, until we obviously do get in the car, we don't know if that idea is going to work or not, if anything else is going to be the way, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But we do have some bits and pieces, I mean 250 odd horsepower at the box. It's going to be enough for a tiny little front wheel drive car. Um, when we did first get the car back and have a look at some bits for it, we were but something like the track run end and that was all nasty, it's horrible. One of the one of the wheel bearings that collapsed, so someone had put a standard four stud non-wide track front hub on it, so the tracking's massively out and it's got the wrong stud pattern on one side. So I have bought I needed to buy one wheel bearing and a track run end that I spotted and it kinda snowballed and <laughs> I ended up with quite a lot of stuff. So you've got front and rear uh, hubs and bearings. Uh, new brand new drain on drive shafts, uh, brand new track red ends, inners and outers, ball joints, uh, rear the, bushes, and the rear axle bushes because they're um, a bit pain convert into a Mark IV golf style rear wheel bearing instead of the standard Mark III taper fit just for ease of what we know uh, works well, so <coughs> a bit easier for us. So in terms of brakes, I mean, have we, have we decided what we're running on it? 256 vented, um, like a Mark IV anniversary rear brakes and either 312s or 288 fronts from a Mark IV GTI or Mark IV anniversary. So we do have quite a few sticking around. Yeah. I think we've got some bright yellow calipers that we've yeah. had just, sorted. Just so that we can use slightly bigger than what, well, it didn't come with any standard VR6 ones. So just try and make do with what we have in kicking about. Yeah, we do have lots and lots and lots of Mark IV era stuff, so what, I say, what we can repurpose and reuse in the boxes and all sorts. So that is pretty much the overview. Um, the A3, it does run, we've got uh, the engine that's coming out of it, uh, but I think we're going to use that one, are we? I was going to use that one, we were going to use that it one. does oh, need timing chain doing. It's got 80, <coughs> I think 86,000 miles on it, but it's got very poor uh, service history, so we believe it's got a stretch chain due to camshaft correlation. Um, and it is quite rattly, so we've got a new timing chain kit on the shelf ready and waiting for it. So, as soon as that gets pulled out, we'll probably do a video throwing that together and then finding we've got to source a clutch and flywheel kit for it. Mm. Um, I've already got the O2A gearbox for it ready. Yeah, box is um, down there. We just need to pull that car out of the way so that we can pull the engine over and 
sitting yeah. in place, so it looks yeah. looks like an engine. Yeah, you can't really see from where we are sat here, but there is <laughs> it's cars sat really. around everywhere else. Yeah. So then we'll get basically get it built up to a point here, so we can push it and move it out of the way, move some of these cars around, so we can pull the engine, all the bits. Well, get the other A3 in next to it, and essentially work them side by side and just transfer bits over as and when. The A3, I've well, got a couple of shots, I'll say it does sort of run at the moment, but you have to essentially keep the foot planted at all times, but it does want to die. And it's got no caps because they've taken them out and got rid of them, so it is rather loud, so I'll try and get a couple of shots. And, and pay but, for another car though, so that's, that that's a video coming up. <laughs> yeah, that's... It did, it, selling the caps off of that one bought another project, so... <clears throat> that is true, that is true, so that, that, yeah, that is going to be the, one of the next videos, or future one, videos. One of the future ones. We've, we've got a lot of project cars. So, yep, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I say we'll end this off on a couple of uh, shots of the A3 having a play before it does fully get stripped down and taken to pieces. So, keep tuned for the next one.